Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the headpiece for your Triceratops. So I am using the Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn. So I'm using the color yellow in place of the peach here. And I'm using the color Lagoon for the outer row. And then I'm also using a 5.5 millimeter uh, crochet hook or an eye crochet hook. And I'm using this adorable little unicorn hook by the Speckled Clay Boutique. And I will link that below for you. All right, let's get started. So we're going to start with our yellow yarn. And again, that's in place of this peach color here. And what we want to do to start um, is you can either foundation single crochet, 21 stitches, or you can chain 22 and then single crochet across. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a foundation single crochet. And I do have a video that I will link below that shows this in more detail. But that's all you're doing for the first row. It's just you're either going to chain 22 and single crochet all the way across, or you're going to do a foundation single crochet of 21. So I will finish that up and come right back. So once you've completed your 21 foundation single crochet or your 21 single crochet stitches, you're going to chain one and turn your work. So this side of your work is what I'm considering the right side of your work. So it's the side that will face you once you're attaching the headpiece on to the head. So for this row, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to skip the next stitch and we want to add six double crochets to the one after that. So we're doing a row basically of shells all the way across. So then you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the one after that. And we're going to repeat this all the way across. So you'll have five shells once you're finished. So to repeat, we're going to skip over the next stitch and we're going to do six double crochets in the one after that. Once you're finished that sixth double crochet, then you're going to skip the next stitch and then single crochet in the one after that. So we're going to keep going along, repeating that pattern, and then I'll come back and show you the final row. Okay, so once you've completed your final single crochet, you're going to, to leave mm, about 12 inches, 12 to 18 inches of yarn because you're going to use that to sew the headpiece down to the head but you're going to end off leaving that tail Just pull that through okay so here we are with row three so what we're going to do for this is we're going to make sure that the right side is facing up so that's the side that was facing you when you worked row three so that means that the, your tail that you just cut is on the left hand side. If you're left handed though, it'll be on the right hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, our contrasting color. In this case, I'm using Lagoon and you're going to attach it to your first single crochet stitch from the previous round or row, sorry. So we'll attach that. I'm just going to attach it with a little slip there and I will secure this end after but you're going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch. So the same stitch that you just attached your yarn in, and then you're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches.
Now what we're going to do, it's called a pico, and it just creates a little bit of a point at the top of your headpiece. So to do that, you're going to chain three, and then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain from your hook. So this, the pico is not performed in any particular stitch from row two. It's just, it kind of bumps up from the, the last stitch that you worked. You see how we've got a little bump there? And then what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into the next three stitches. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a spike stitch. So a spike stitch is very similar to a regular single crochet stitch. The only difference is instead of placing your hook into the stitch, the next stitch, you're going to place it into the stitch two rows below. So one, two. So from round or row two, one, that's where we're placing our hook. So insert your hook into the stitch two rows down yarn over and pull up your loop, yarn over and through two. So see how it makes like a taller single crochet? So it adds a spike to the stitch. So then we're going to repeat the sequence that we just went through here, where you're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches. You're going to do another one of those picots, slip stitch in the next three stitches, and then do a spike. I'll do the next set with you. And then we're going to do our pico again. Slip stitch in the next three. And we're going to do another spike stitch. So don't go through here. You're going to go down here to insert your hook to add a spike. Okay, so then you want to repeat that sequence three more times to finish up the headpiece. And then once you get to the end, you can end off and weave in your tail. And then once you complete the headpiece, you can place it on, on the head and you want to do, go just behind the horns at kind of a bit of an angle. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye for now.